Video 4, Multicast VPN Site Auto Discovery. This video describes the task number 4 of this introduction to multicast VPNs. Up to now, PE3 and PE4 each received a PIM join from their downstream CEs. Unfortunately, they could not process the join further up to PE1. You now need to make the PEs neighbors of each other, but there is no PIM in the core and, well, is PIM the best protocol for this purpose? Let's use a reliable protocol like BGP to perform the site auto discovery function. When you enable the multicast VPN feature at the VRFs, there are changes both at the multicast and at the unicast level. On the multicast side of things, the PEs send auto discovery BGP routes that are propagated by route reflectors, so the PEs become multicast VPN neighbors of each other in the context of VRF1. Let's have a closer look to this multicast auto discovery route. There is a new address family called INET MVPN or AFI1 SAFI5. Within this address family, there are different route types. In this case, the route type is 1, which stands for Intra AS Inclusive PMSI Auto Discovery. Don't be scared about that long name. It's a simple route after all. It contains the route distinguisher to provide the VPN context and the router ID of the originator. With this route, PE1 is telling the world that it's a multicast capable router within this VPN. Due to the export policy chosen in this lab, the route target is the same one that you used for unicast routes. So you have a full mesh topology and all the PEs are MVPN neighbors of each other. There are changes at the unicast level too. Actually, as soon as you enabled MVPN in a VRF, all the unicast routes are re-advertised toward the multi-protocol IBGP peers. What did change? There are two new extended communities. The source AS community is necessary, but not very interesting in your intra-AS scenario. The most important community here is the route import, which has two parts. First, the router ID of the advertising PE, in this case PE1. Second, a very important little number. This number is dynamically generated at PE1. It has local significance to PE1, and its meaning is simply VRF1. You'll see soon why route import communities are so important. They are basically join attractors.